What's happening, fellas? This is a day I thought would never come to pass, and and it still might not. We I might I might back out of this, but um, it looks like I'm putting Big Black up for sale. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know that this is one of my favorite motorcycles for a hundred different reasons. For the type of riding I do, which is two up riding all the time with Christy on the back, 97% on on the road. Most likely, uh, usually in Daytona, Laconia, Americade, we used to set a lot of the rallies. It's like the ultimate bike to cruise around the pits at 10 miles an hour, unlike my XR650, which we just sold. Um, we had uh, two new air-cooled XR650s. This one's liquid-cooled, so you can sit in traffic all day long. It'll run super cool. Uh, this is an absolute dime piece. This, this is my personal bike. I own Kaplan Cycles and New England Motorcycle Museum. Obviously, if you follow the channel, you already know that. It's got 3,856 miles. It's got super low miles on it, and it's got pretty much everything done uh, that, that I, I would want to do to a KLR. Um, it is cosmetically and mechanically perfect. Um, it's better than a new bike for a hundred different reasons. I don't like the new, the new bikes nearly as much. They made them the new KLRs. They do make KLRs still today, but the, uh, I, I guess the fuel injection, um, there's issues with the mapping on it. If you put a pipe on it, they can't get them to run right. Um, and I don't like the oversized fairing on it. It looks more like a, sh it just, this bike, of all the KLRs, this generation is my favorite. That's, that's just me. That's, in, in my humble opinion, uh, it is the best of all the KLRs. The uh, paint job on it is a 10. It's the original factory black paint job on there. Um, we've done a lot of upgrades on this. This one's been wizard tuned to the nines. When you first get a KLR, they are super lean from the factory. They run like shit when, when, they're, when, they're, when they're cold because they come corked up completely with the smog kit on there and, and all that. So, and the jetting is super, super lean. This has a dyno jet kit on it. We jetted it three times before it's, Wizard got it perfect. And w w w why is the jetting important, important? Well, when you put a pipe on a bike, it makes it run even leaner. This has got the FMF um, exhaust on it. And uh, the jetting, you can rev this thing to the red line and then let off the throttle in third or fourth gear and go from red line down to 800 RPM or 1,000 RPM. It won't backfire, won't burp, won't fart. It's just carbureted perfectly and it runs great when it's cold. This is an FMF PowerCore 4 exhaust. It has a full dyno jet carb kit. It's got the million mile K&N filter in it. So the air filter, the carb, the uh, exhaust, everything's been done on it. It's jetted perfectly and it had, it, it's, it's about, is good. It's the best running uh, single cylinder, four stroke 650 I've ever ridden. It's tuned perfectly. We've changed the oil m way more than, than is necessary with 3,900 miles. I for, I've lost track, but we change it once, once a year. It's been changed. Uh, uh, we take it down to Daytona. We bring it to Laconia. This goes to Americade with us, and, and we mainly ride it around where the event is. We might put 30, 40, 50 miles on it at an event, so it doesn't get a lot of miles on it. So the engine is a 10. Cosmetically, the bike's a 10. And starting at the front of the bike, if you look closely, that's a brand new Michelin Anarchy front tire, top of the line, huge upgrade over the stock Dunlop. The rear is a matching Anarchy, and the, um, the uh, tires and tubes, that has Michelin tubes in it too. Big upgrade on this bike was the suspension. I've done just about the most you could do on, on a KLR. It has the progressive heavy duty springs in the front with 20 weight fork oil. They are air adjustable if you want to put a little bit more air in it. And it also, if you look closely, it's got a brand new progressive shock on the back here also. Probably the biggest single upgrade you could possibly do to a KLR is, is the progressive shock. It's, it's light years better than the stock shock. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's just, you can't even compare this shock to the stock shock. It's an expensive upgrade. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was close to $500 for the shock. And then of course the fork kit has to be installed the fork springs, the fork oil. And if you look closely, you'll see it has a braided stainless front brake line. Another big upgrade on the KLR series, a braided stainless brake line. The master cylinder's got new, new fluid in it and it has brand new EBC brake pads. So the brake pads, the brake line, the, the fork springs, the fork oil, the tire have all been upgraded. The front fender, this has been professionally painted, the front fender, um, black. This is a, bl a new black KLR fairing along with a new black windscreen. Uh, the handlebars have been upgraded to the Renthal handlebars. Uh, Pro Grip 801 grips, new black 
hand protectors, black levers, Renthal crossbar pad. Uh, I own a bike shop, so whenever, you know, anything that ever needs to be done to my bikes is done, and, and all the extras that you'd want to do on it. One of my favorite things about the KLR riding two up for, with Christy, she loves the seat on this thing. It's as comfortable as the one on my FXR, maybe more comfortable. And she's always feels safe and planted on it. It's got the grab bars on the back right here. She's usually hanging on to me, but um, it's got grab bars and it has a luggage rack on it, uh, uh, turn signals. Uh, these are new black side panels, new black radiator shrouds, new black rear fender, all brand new in the last year. Uh, of course, the Michelin and if you retire, and if you look closely, it's got brand new EBC brake pads on it. Um, another nice upgrade is I upgraded to the um, IMS Pro Series. If you zoom in, you see these are way better than the stock ones. They're IMS Pro Series pegs. Uh, those are a pricey addition. You can see the engine cases are like brand new. The, the frame rails on this, I've never abused this thing off-road. Look at the bottom of the, the, the um, plastic frame. The frame rails look brand new. The, the frame protector, like I said, it's been mostly used on the road. The, with the engine uncorked, the single ride wheelies uh, uh, very easily. Uh, it handles like a dream. Going down bumpy back roads. It, it, look at how, look at how, look at the swing arm. It, it, like I said, it's like a brand new motorcycle. The swing arm, the swing arm linkage, the, the original rims, are beautiful. Just a beautiful piece. Coming around this side here, you can see I also didn't need it, but I upgraded to a gold chain. It's something we do with all our bikes here. Brand new top of the line. Renthal gold chain with a black sprocket. So I nicknamed it Big Black. Uh, it's got a, a, a new battery, a brand new battery in it too. Uh, and of course the Canaan filter. So yeah, anything you could possibly want to do to an exit at a KLR within reason has been done on it. Um, it's got a new fuel petcock and new fuel lines on here. The carb's been done. It's uh, 3,000 miles. So if you bought your KLR into a shop and said, hey, uh, I want to have you put Michelin Anakees on it, a progressive shock, gold chain and sprockets, EBC brakes, black out the whole bike, put Renthal bars on it, grips, put a progressive fork springs on it, a Michelin front tire, uh, Anarchy front tire, braided stainless brake lines, uh, EBC brake pads, a fork kit, um, air filter, do a stage one, jet it, put a pipe on it. You know, you're gonna be looking at 20, 20, hour, 20 plus hours labor, plus all the parts, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars. This one's done, and it was done to my standard. And I'm one picky bastard when it comes to my bikes. I want it done right. I own a shop. If I got to bring it in three times so it's perfect, it's done. This one's perfect. And I'm putting the video up. Uh, I'm bringing, why would I sell the bike? Well, if you look around you on this floor right here, uh, this floor is not finished at the museum. It's a 10,000 square foot floor. We're, we, we just got a gas gas franchise. I have $30,000 in gas gas signs that I have, uh, LED signs I got to hang on the building. And we got to put two bathrooms in down here. We're, uh, over in the uh, corner is going to be a conference room and two, and two bathrooms right here and offices and a, a service center and a parts department. And if you've ever opened a bike dealership, you know, it's, it's you can see. We, 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 we spent a, probably 130,000 so far and, and another probably 200,000 to finish this, this, uh, this room, setting it up as, as a motorcycle dealership with all the shelves and all the extras and all of the uh, parts. So it's a major investment. And uh, we're also a gas gas dealership now. So gas gas has an ES 700. If you've been following the videos, Junior's been riding the heck out of his C700. Bought it down to Florida, fell in love with it. I have one also. I'm a gas gas dealer now. I gotta um, represent the bikes we're selling. I'm not sure I, I like that better for me uh, in Christie. So I'm taking that one down to Florida uh, this next week and I'm gonna ride it. It's, what, why Florida? Well, it's, it's uh, below freezing out. It's December 15th, January 15th, and we're, and we're in the middle of winter here in New England. The roads are covered with salt and snow. Uh, and there's no way in God's green earth Christie's gonna go ride out with me in the cold because she, she has a, um, some issue with circulation in her hands. She doesn't like riding in the cold. Uh, I can't say that I'm a fan of riding in the cold. So uh, we know that we can ride this thing all day, all day long together comfortably. If she doesn't like the gas gas, I'm filming this video today and we're putting this, we're gonna put this up for sale after I'm sure that she's okay riding on, that, uh, on the gas gas. The seat doesn't look as comfortable as this. They say they have aftermarket saddles. I don't know. This, this one's a proven commodity. It, it's uh, suited our needs perfectly, and it's basically brand new at 3,000 miles. Um, I probably forgot some of the things we did to it. I know we, we put the, the heavy-duty bar risers on here for, for the rentals and make it a little bit higher. 
Um, it's got the Kawasaki keychain on there. Uh, and, it, and this is a no excuses bike. It's absolutely pristine. Um, oh, I, for, I forgot to mention, this is a huge upgrade, the headlight on there. Um, this is a uh, top of the, I know we paid a fortune for this headlight. It was like, I don't know, it was, I don't remember exactly, but it was over 300 bucks. It's, it's, uh, and it's light years brighter than, than the stock one. It's, it's super, super, like you can't even look at it or it'll hurt your eyes in the daytime. So um, that was another nice upgrade. And I probably forgot some of the other things we did to it, but um, it's totally ready to go. Oh, I only run VP, ethanol free fuel in it. And uh, the, like I said, the oil's probably got 150 miles on it since we changed it. It's changed it at least once a year and the bike has 3,000 miles on it. So um, it's a dime, it's an absolute dime piece. So um, I probably shouldn't sell it, but I am a gas gas dealer and I need to represent that product and, and uh, start riding that product and finding out all the idiosyncrasies and what it takes to set one of those up perfectly for two up riding. So that's gonna be, be our next venture. I actually, I have the gas gas loaded up and we're heading to Florida with it uh, on, on Tuesday. So we'll be starting to ride that Tuesday. And I'll see what I need to do to set that up for Chrissy and we'll be representing gas gas products and that's what we're gonna be selling. So um, this is the only KLR I have and it's, and it's probably gonna go up for sale. So um, rest assured, if you're thinking of buying one of these, all the things I said th th to do to on it, look at this as a recipe of exactly what you wanna do to your KLR to make it one of the b best, most, first of all, this is probably the most durable enduro bike ever made. These are, no. There, there's been a few, YouTubers have tried purposely to destroy one of these by running it wide open for hours on end. Uh, one YouTuber left his in a lake on the kickstand and it fell over sideways and it was underwater overnight. And he took it out of the lake, turned it upside down, got the water out of the engine and it started right up. A testimony of electrical and mechanical integrity. He eventually did destroy the bike by smashing the engine cases on a rock and breaking a hole through the engine cases. That was the only way, only, and I don't, he didn't do that on, he didn't break, break the cases on purpose, but ironically, that was the only thing that would, would kill it. They're, they're notoriously durable. Uh, is the gas gas as durable? I don't know, um, but that's, I'm gonna find out. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna ride the wheels off of one of those. So uh, this, this, may be, this may be up for sale. If you're interested, give us a call, 860-454-7024. If it shows up on eBay, uh, bid high and bid often, because uh, this, this, this is as, as good of a KLR 650 as you'll ever find. In, it may be just me, but something about the black, it, it just looks badass. It's jetted perfectly. <laughs>